Good morning and welcome to the Stock Planner Channel. Reality is setting in for Wall Street. Taxes are going up. The market reacted unfavorably. Let's take a look and see how our market is shaping up for the day. Well, it started out pretty well and then about midday, it started dropping like a rock. Lots of red. All the big boys are red. Red across the board. Let's see if it gets any better in the groups. Nope, not so hot. Basic materials was the top of the game yesterday, and today is down the, the lowest. Not so hot. Dow slumps as bulls scatter on the reports of the Biden hike. There's something on the um, India and Cova too. It shook the market. This is the Nasdaq. We had a red candle yesterday. Green one this morning. Let's go down to the two hour. Last eight hours seems a little flat. Long candle there. Yeah, that was that one o'clock candle. The MACD is showing green on the two hour. That's optimistic there. This was the N NASDAQ, the rut here. Much the same. Long candle. These indices are all in the green this morning. SP 500. There's your MACD thinking it's going to go up. Zigzag doesn't know what it's doing, thinking it's going up. Now, some people. Subscribe to the 50% retracement theory. I do. And you can draw on the last known leg. That's why I like the zigzag. You can have to draw a Fibonacci. And here's the 50% retracement line. So sometime last night, if you believed in the stochastic RSI, you could have took the thing all somewhere around here and kind of figured it, it would go back to the 50% retracement line. Now, since yesterday was such a bloody day, you might say it's going to go up to the to the next fib line, which is about forty one fifty five. Or you can say we have another bloody day and look at down hit the the lows of yesterday at forty one thirty. Your guess is as good as mine. I don't know which way it's going, but I do like the fifty percent retracement theory. And a lot of times I don't even draw the fib. I just kind of look at the last printed leg and go fifty percent. And kind of guess it. I eyeball it. But it's already there. I have a watch list of 120 or so plus stocks. And each day I have an algorithm that I run. A program that gives me my buy and sell signals for the RSI, MACD, and the stochastics. Also tells me when the zigzag has changed. Yesterday we received a single in plug power. An RSI buy. We'll take a brief look at that. See how it did. And then we have some new singles. MGM. Vertex and a few others. Looks like Plug Power had a down day yesterday. Started here and ended up here. We had an RSI single here to go long. It looked like it was going to do that in the morning and in the afternoon probably it went down. But the zigzag does look like it's going up that way. The stochastic RSI is pointing up and we had a crossover for the MACD up. It still looks like a good good trade. Although we had a red candle. Still looking good to me. Now, I have a Discord chat. A Discord channel. It's Stock Planner. I have now listed it in my video correctly. But it has it has the listing that I'm sh showing you right now. But also, as I analyze the day, I put my charts out there. Or started to. I, I don't know if I can get a good habit and start doing that all the time. But... No promise, it's because this is not a single channel. This is a, this is more, or how you can build your own watch list and and do your own due diligence, because you'll be a better trader that that way rather than taking somebody else's singles. You just, it's just it's not possible to trade well if you're taking somebody blindly. Well, the first the stock is AIG, and yesterday it might have been something wrong with my my sheet, but I received a single on AIG that's. It was an MACD buy single, but the MACD was pointing down, and um, it just didn't didn't seem correct. Now you could say that the zigzag may may be turning. I don't know, but the RSI is not doing anything, and the, the stochastic RSI may be crossing over and going up. This just didn't, I didn't warm up to this because something was wrong, and um, it it's not on my sheet this morning, so. There might have been something wrong with my single sheet or I'm having a little trouble with my Google sheet because 
what's happening is Chrome is caching the spreadsheet data and it's it's using old cached data in uh, in the sheet and I haven't figured out how to how to do that um because the data is being placed out there is good uh my my routine my algorithm is working good and it's putting a file out on the web good but when Google Sheets it picks up a cached the cached version of that data and it's it, it's old data so I'm having a little trouble with figuring that out I want to have the spreadsheet all my spreadsheets update as new data is placed out there and that way you have the same data as I do Carnival Cruise Line was on the list at one time yesterday for an MACD buy and this is a good good signal and stochastic is good you have your support lines drawn your 50 percent retracement this is okay for a small rise although i never really had any luck with carnival cruise line i, I have no re reason what why they would go be the stock be going up the, the boats are just sitting idle mgm is on the day nice swings here but here's your earnings it's too close to earnings vertex healthcare stop again it's pretty close to earnings i i, I just would not not um participate received a stochastic buy there's your nice swing you have your support and resistant lines here looks like the zigzag is going to go up red candle here uh, let's wait a couple of days on this it's probably all good let's wait so remember to visit my discord i appreciate that not a lot on my list today i try to fix the update problem the caching problem on this spreadsheet now based on this trade list and the, the atmosphere today this my strategy is not to do too much it's friday i have an antique business that's open on the weekends it's a brick and mortar antique shop we're going to open the doors today friday and saturday and i'm going to concentrate on my business and not so much on the stock market that's the nice thing about swing trading you can take your eye off the ball and, and not really lose it lose anything so i'm going to concentrate on my other business today rather than so much trading i hope you all have good luck happy trading please like and subscribe to the video and catch you on the flip